A year after the deadly shootings at three Georgia massage businesses, crowds gathered at rallies across the country today to remember the victims and denounce the recent rise in anti-Asian violence. Last year, eight people were killed in that shooting spree in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, the shooter has since pleaded guilty to murder and was sentenced to life in prison without parole. He said that the shootings were not racially motivated, but we do know six of the victims were Asian American women. The crimes left many in the Asian American community scared and concerned for their safety. Tonight there was a rally and a vigil in solidarity with the AAPI community. KTRA 3's Brittany Hope tells us more about what advocates say they're fighting for. Zaji Emily Tan, 49, was a business owner born on the China Vietnam border. And so we want to remember those women that were working in the spa. Names read aloud and displayed of the eight people killed a year ago today in the Atlanta spa shootings. Six of them were women of Asian descent. This is a part of a nationwide effort called Break the Silence. This crowd gathered on the Capitol steps, breaking the silence about increasing violence against the AAPI community, especially over the last two years since the COVID-19 pandemic began. Believe me, the hate crime can happen to anyone. And the target, I think they target me because I'm a little Asian woman. This Sacramento woman said she was attacked just last Friday. My car got hit. I got pepper spray on my face and got robbed. Her community joining together to say no more. I am especially proud and intentionally being here and making sure that my African American community along with the Asian community are together and everyone else hear us in unison. Attorney General Rob Bonta committing to this group that he will be aggressive in fighting anti AAPI so hate. As painful as it can be, it's important to remember our history as we try to try to chart a better future. From speakers to signs and t-shirts. So we will stand here, we will fight, we will make sure our voices are heard, and that legislation is always passed to support um, our anti-hate crime positions. This message is clear tonight. In Sacramento, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News.